through the years of being on the Athletic Hall of Fame committee, uh, which I was added to when I first arrived, and I've been here at Hopkins now for 21 years, we've often received nominations for individuals who have made a, a real impact on the Department of Athletics and Recreation, but who aren't necessarily what we would consider candidates for the Athletic Hall of Fame. Our committee decided two years ago that we would add an award for distinguished service that we can award at our discretion at the Hall of Fame induction ceremony, which of course now takes place every other year. The criteria for the award are listed in your, in your program, but they include outstanding contributions and service to the Department of Athletics and Recreation. That contribution and service should be documented over a length of time, not less than 10 years. As we gathered last summer to select uh, this year's class of Hall of Fame inductees and our inaugural Distinguished Service Award recipient, the consideration of who that award would go to really didn't take very long. There has been no greater friend or supporter of the Johns Hopkins Department of Athletics and Recreation through the years than Ralph O'Connor, who gener who gener whose generous support provided our campus with the O'Connor Recreation Center in 2002 who's been known to hit me back with an email when he receives my post-game award uh, or post-game uh, game summaries congratulating that particular team and coach on a victory. From the student athletes to those who compete in our vast intramural and recreation programs, there is not one among that group, and through the years they number in the thousands, whose experience at Johns Hopkins has not been enhanced by Ralph O'Connor. Ladies and gentlemen, I am thrilled to present the inaugural recipient of the Johns Hopkins Department of Athletics and Recreation Award for Distinguished Service, Mr. Ralph O'Connor. Well, I didn't know what I was going to say <clears throat> when I got up here, but I, I was get, given 30 seconds, so it's got to be pretty quick. <laughs> but, I, but I did, when I saw those wonderful people that were thrown up on the board, I think I'm going to shoot for, uh, to be one of those people that made a record at Hopkins. I went out for lacrosse, I thought I was pretty good, but on the first day of practice, I think it was about 22 seconds, the coach, Harry Myers, came up and he said, I'm sorry to tell you this early, but you're not going to make this team, uh, so don't come back tomorrow. So that's a record. I think, uh, <laughs> but, but seriously, uh, I'm, I'm honored and proud to be here today, and I was so delight, delighted to see so many people that I've known over many years, probably too many years, from here all the way up to things. So I, I appreciate it very much, and uh, I hope the next guy can do a better speech than this. But <laughs> you can't do much in 30 seconds. <laughs> Thank you.